Good morning, folks. Larry Miles here in Louisville, Kentucky. I want to welcome everybody to this short devotion this morning. We want to also welcome you to come out to the Cherry Street Church of Christ in New Albany, Indiana. We meet at 302 Cherry Street in New Albany, Indiana. That's just across from Louisville, Kentucky off of I-64. We meet at 9.30 a.m. for Bible classes at 10.30 a.m. for our morning worship. And we meet at 6 p.m. this evening for our evening worship and at 7 p.m. on Wednesday nights. Our youth meet about 5 or 5.30 on Wednesday nights also. I see Bill Boyd and Karen Zebarth are watching. We pray for the Lord's work in Tennessee and Louisiana. Brother Nick Marsh is our preacher at Cherry Street. He'll be speaking this morning and this evening. Jeff Adams will be teaching the adult class in the auditorium and other classes for all ages and other rooms in the building. We'll talk a little bit about this morning about a little devotion here this morning called Running the Race. One of the descriptions of a Christian in the New Testament is that of an athlete. Paul uses this terminology of athletes many times in these scriptures. We read in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5, an athlete is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. Paul writing in 2 Timothy 4 and verse 7 says, I have finished the race. 1 Corinthians 9 and verse 25 to 27, Paul further compares the life of a Christian to an athlete. During the time of Paul, the Greek games, the Olympics were prominent, and many participated or at least had an interest. Paul used words and phrases that talked about how an athlete prepares himself for his sport. Then he makes an application for the Christian. Participating in the Greek games, one had to be a citizen of the city in which they lived. Paul talked about Christian citizenship in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 20. The person would have pride in his city or country and would seek to bring honor to it. He'd be willing to put all the training, put all into the training he had to at least be at his peak performance when he, the games begin so he would bring honor to his city. So it is with the Christian. The participants in the games were competing for a physical crowd but we compete for an imperishable or incorruptible crown, depending on what your version says. Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 9.25, Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable one. The athlete would put all he had into training and would not let anything hinder himself in that area. The Christian must be the same. He or she must equip themselves with everything the Lord has for us. Jesus said he came to have an abundant life and live that abundant life to the fullest. We must keep our eyes on Jesus at all times. And according to Titus 2 verse 12, renounce ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. The Christian life is not a bed of roses. Rather, it's an ongoing life of commitment and steadfastness. In 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 58, we read, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Let's run with confidence the race that is set before us, keeping our eyes upon Jesus at all times, Hebrews 12, 1 through 2. If we do that, concentrate on improving our spiritual life daily, we will draw near to Jesus. Being a Christian athlete will mean you are growing in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Peter three eighteen. 
Thanks for watching this short devotional. And again, we invite you out to the Cherry Street Church of Christ, New Albany, Indiana, 302 Cherry Street. 9.30 a.m. for Bible classes, 10.30 a.m. for morning worship, 6 p.m. for evening worship, and 7 p.m. on Wednesday nights. All times are Eastern time zone. Our website is cherrystreetchurchofchrist.com. My website is larryslines.com. We may do a Facebook Live video of the lesson this morning that Brother Nick will bring. I would guess it would start probably about close to 11 o'clock Eastern time, maybe a little earlier. We start at 1030 for our singing, prayers, Bible reading, Lord's Supper. We invite you to be back for that and listen to the Word of God. And let's learn together and grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus. Thanks a lot, folks, for watching.